Wednesday has been the talk of TV Twitter lately, but not always for a good reason. So what's really going on with the sudden Tim Burton backlash? After debuting on November 23rd, the Netflix series managed to rack up positive reviews and record-breaking streaming numbers, with more than 341 million hours watched in its first week on the app, according to Netflix. No other English-language TV show has been able to bring in those results for the streamer over the course of its first week. The supernatural coming-of-age story follows Jenna Ortega's Wednesday Adams as she adjusts to life at Nevermore Academy, a Vermont-based reform school for other peculiar outcasts like herself in the fictional town of Jericho. On the surface, Wednesday is a show that seems innocent and fun, with a familiar premise based on the Adams Family characters and franchise. However, there's something that many fans have found extremely wrong with the spinoff, which is getting talked about a lot as of late. For some Wednesday viewers, it feels like the creative team, including executive producer and director Tim Burton, chose to cast black actors as the show's main antagonists. As a result, fans have been taking to social media to voice their outrage. One user tweeted, I really wanted to like Wednesday, but I think it's unforgivable that all the black characters are either bullies or morally compromised. And why is Wednesday hostile towards them? WTF, what kind of ridiculous writing is this? The casting choices that viewers are most upset about are New York-born actor Joy Sunday, who plays resident mean girl Bianca Barclay at Nevermore, and Hollywood newcomer Iman Marson, who plays Lucas Walker, a local bully. Walker's family runs the show's fictional Pilgrim World. His father, Noble Walker, is the mayor of Jericho and owns the colonizer-themed theme park. It takes a special kind of stupid to devote an entire theme park to zealots responsible for mass genocide. It's easy to see how casting black actors to run such a place could be considered tone-deaf, which is exactly what people are calling it on social media. Self-described anti-racism consultant John Cornejo tweeted, A black mayor who owns a museum celebrating pilgrims and colonizers in Wednesday is really wild for me. I am so tired of characters that are played by black actors but written as white where the director has done nothing with how their blackness would have impacted their journey and role in society. This colorblind approach is not the one. A lack of diversity in Tim Burton's projects has been an issue over the years. After making the 2016 fantasy flick Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Burton was called out for having a predominantly white cast, with Samuel L. Jackson being one of the only non-white stars and serving as an antagonist. Burton told Bustle at the time, Things either call for things or they don't. I remember back when I was a child watching The Brady Bunch and they started to get all politically correct. Like, okay, let's have an Asian child and a black. I used to get more offended by that. Jackson himself called out Burton for his lack of diversity, telling Bustle, I had to go back in my head and go, how many black characters have been in Tim Burton movies? And I may have been the first. <laughs> 